So just yesterday, I decided to share the gospel with a co-worker that I was a little reluctant about. Um, she has a very strong, abrasive personality. She's very intellectual. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that great at arguing. And I just thought that me sharing the gospel with her was only going to lead to an argument that would wind up with me losing. But here's the thing. Whenever we share the gospel with people, we never lose. We always win when we share the gospel. We can be happy farmers knowing that when we plant the word of God, we plant the seed of God, that that gives God an incredible opportunity that he hasn't had up until the point of us sharing the gospel with that person. So she heard the truth that God sent Jesus to die for our sins, and that three days later, God raised him from the dead. And I had a little window to expound what that actually meant for her. But she was very, she was very scoffing. She laughed at me, and she told me, I don't really want your Jesus, and I honestly don't think that I need your Jesus. But I just smiled and kept telling her, this like, but I'm so convinced that God loves you, and he has an amazing plan for your life. And she just kept saying, you know, well, if God really, really was that interested in me, I think he'd be at least decent enough to give me a sign. And she's like, don't you think? And I didn't have much of an answer. I didn't, I, I didn't, I wasn't able to impress her with rebuttals and, and arguments, but I just, I was compelled to tell her that God loved her. Jesus loved her so much that he gave his life and he trusted in God to raise him from the dead. For, and I just expounded on the gospel. I hammered it. And uh, she just she just told me, hey, like, if you really think I'm going to open my heart and give my, my life to Jesus, then you are out of your mind. Just, just give up on it. And I just told her God loved her. I loved her. She hugged me. She knows how I feel about her. She knows, she knows that I care about her and, and that I have this conviction for all people. Um, but I shared the gospel with her. And God has now, he has an opportunity that he hasn't had up until that point. So, not good on me at all. I'm not trying to pat my back and, 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 and look good in front of people. But I'm convinced that the gospel is the power of God under salvation. Are you convinced of that truth? Do you believe that once that seed is sown, as the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 13, Paul said that, I planted, some watered, and some reaped the harvest. We all have the same reward, but you have to be convinced that the word of God won't fail. That the gospel is the power of God unto salvation for everyone who believes. And now, Kyla, I'm convinced that Kyla, that other people will be along the way to water that seed um, and eventually reap the harvest. And I'm convinced that if it seems like she doesn't, if, if there's... If it, if it turns out that she doesn't receive Jesus before death is knocking at her door, I believe that in that second, in that time, when it all matters, before she crosses over into eternity, I believe that she'll give her life to the Lord. I believe that she'll trust in Jesus. She'll be reminded of that seed. And that's the thing. We can have great joy and great hope in knowing when we share the gospel with people, when we share God's word, that it won't return void, but it'll actually fulfill the saying. It'll fulfill the thing. It'll accomplish the thing for which it was sent. We can trust in the promise of God's word. So I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation for everyone who believes. That's what Paul said. Are you convinced of that same power? I'm convinced of it. Let's be convinced that the gospel actually, actually works. Let's be convinced that the gospel actually changes lives, that it transforms people. That the biggest miracle that can ever take place, that a person who is dead in their sin can be raised again as a new person, just as Christ was. That he was buried in death, we were buried with him. But as he was raised in newness of life, we should also walk in newness of life. That's the power of the gospel. That's the biggest miracle that any person could ever witness. So just be encouraged. Let's be happy farmers, y'all.